for the way it goes. Filipinos, these are the 30 English Filipino words that are different in the UK. It's better for you to know the different English words they use. Most of the time, these words are very different from our American English. Mabuti na yung wag kang maging ignorante. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification for you to be updated for my future blog. Number 31 High school the term here for high school is different. They use secondary school. Oo nga naman. They call elementary school as primary school, then it's very obvious that they will call high school as secondary school. Number 32 Expressway or highway They call it here motorway Number 33 Your hood Yung sasasakyan mo, yung nasa harap ba? Yung nasaan ang makina? They don't call it hood in here, but bonnet. Bonnet, ni ba parang sa buhok yun? Number 34. Pacifier. Yung ginagamit po natin sa mga bata para tumahimik sila sa pag -iya. They call it here, dummy. Number 35. Parking lot. Oh, they don't call it parking lot in here. They call it car park. Number 36. Shopping cart. Or they call it shopping trolley. Sa aking observasyon, lahat ng mga tinutulak na ang tawag natin ay cart, dito ang tawag nila ay trolley. So like cleaning trolley, office trolley, yung para bang kariton. Number 37. Sidewalk. They call it here pavement. Number 38. Sneakers. Or what we call rubber shoes. The right term for rubber shoes is trainers. Number 39. Soccer. We don't call it soccer here, but they call it football. The term soccer is often used in the United States. Wag na wag mong sasabihin ang term na soccer, lalo na pagkausap mo ang mga Briton. Use the word football. That's the British way. Number 40. A trunk of your car. Yes, yun nga sa likod ng kotse mo kung saan mo nilalagay yung mga gamit mo. The right term for that here, boot. The boot of your car. Number 41, vacation. There's no such thing as vacation here. They call it holiday. I think it's more fun using holiday rather than vacation. Number 42, zip code. Nahanap mo ba yung address ko? Hindi mo mahanap kasi walang zip code dito. Meron. Postcode Number 43 Zucchini Ito ba yung parang upo? Pero ang tawag nila dito sa UK ay courgette Number 44 Takeout Noong first time ko dito sa UK murder ako sa McDonald's Tapos tinanong niya ako Kung dine-in daw ba o take-away? Medyo napakunutan mo ako. Take-away? Parang kang snatcher mo no? Take-away mo yung Big Mac. Number 45. Subway. The term for subway here in the UK is underground. Number 46. Bathroom. Ang bathroom ay yung ginagamit mo pagkatapos mo maligo. They repair bathrobe here as dressing gown. Number 47 Crib Kung saan mo pinapatulog yung bata? Ang tawag nila dyan ay cot. Number 48 
tic-tac-toe. Everybody knows how to play tic-tac-toe. They call it knots and crosses. So see, number 49, waistcoat. Ang tawag nila sa waistcoat ay best. Pwede tong sando or chaleco, anything that's sleeveless upper body garment. Kaya pala hindi ako makahanap ng sando sa Martin Spencer kasi ang tawag pala nila ay best. Number 50, bait. The term for bait is bat. Pag sinabi sa ating bat, Ibig sabihin, maliligo ka. Pero dito, iba ang meaning ng bat at iba din ang meaning ng shower. Pag sinabing bat, ikaw ay maliligo sa bathtub. Magbababad ka sa tubig. Pag sinabing shower, ito ay mabilis ang ligo. Number 51 Cigarette The term is pag. Let's go for a pag. Do you want some pag? For fancy a pub, it's considered a British slang. Parang sa atin, sa batang kalye, there are many other terms for cigarettes like cigs, cigis, smokes, and tubs. Dami no, but pub is widely used. Pub in the UK is not related for homosexuality. Number 52 Second floor Your second floor here is called the first floor. Sa ating mga Pilipino, ang first floor ay yung nasa ground. Pag kumalik ka na, second floor na yan. Here, it's different. Ang nasa babang floor ay ground floor. The floor that is in the ground level. Kaya minsan, confused ka pag ikaw ay nagtatanong ng direksyon. Yung first floor ay ground floor at yung second floor ay first floor. Nalilito na ako. Number 53 Wash up! Sa atin, pag sinabing wash up ay maghugas ka ng kamay kasi kakain na tayo. Or wash means wash your face in the morning. O maghilamas ka ng mukha mo. But here, wash up means wash the dishes. Or do the dishes. Maghugas ka ng pinagkainan mo. It's confusing. Just remember, wash up is the British for wash plates, cups, spoons after the meal. Number 54 Dessert Your dessert is called pudding in the UK. Pudding, hindi ba yan yung lumang tinapay na niluluto natin at ginagawang pudding? The reason why the word pudding instead of dessert is actually based on a British class system. Traditionally, pudding repaired to homely and rustic dessert that were eaten by the lower class like spotted dick and rice pudding. May comparison naman din pala yung pudding natin na pinaglumaang tinapay na binagawang cake at sa UK naman ay isang uri ng dessert na kadalasang kinakain ng mga mahihirap katulad ng rice pudding. Pudding in the UK is also a dessert generally or a hot dessert to Christmas pudding, a kind of custard dessert similar to cream caramel. Number 55 Buttocks Your buttocks, rear end, bottom, or pet is called bum in the UK. Your bum! Ang alam natin sa bum ay ang mga homeless people. Yan pong term na yan ay sa Amerika. They don't call homeless people here bum. Bum is your pet. Okay? Number 56 Eraser Yes, your eraser on your pencil is called a rubber. If you talk about American English, rubber means condom, a popular contraceptive. In the UK, it simply means an eraser to remove pencil markings. Tandaan, baka maghanap ka ng rubber at ang ibigay sa iyo ay eraser. Huwag kang magugulat, okay? Number 57, Tomboy. The word tomboy in the Philippines is associated with lesbians or homosexual female. But here, tomboy is a girl who enjoy things people think are more suited to boys. Kung isang batang babae ay mayroon yung maglaro ng baril-barilan, pinatawag nila itong tomboy. Tomboy here doesn't mean the girl is a homosexual female. Ang tawag dyan ay boyish. 
Number 58 Fist Dahil sa tayo ay lumaki sa American way, ang ibig sabihin natin sa fist ay angry. In the UK, fist means they're drunk. Lasing sila. Don't say I'm getting pissed off dahil iisipin ng mga Briton na lasing ka na. Wala ka namang iniinom. Number 59 Mailbox Your mailbox is called here postbox. FYI lang, post box here most likely a little opening in your door where the postman put your mail. So, no mailman but postman. Number 60 License Plate Ang tawag po sa license plate dito sa UK ay number plate. Ikaw naman, number nga ang nakalagay. Kaya, number plate. Okay na yun. For the way it goes, maraming salamat po at don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification for you to be updated for my future blog.